What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to another episode of Cool Tech, just in time for the holidays. All the products in this video are under $50 and they actually make great gifts. To kick things off, we have the GamDS Hermes Mechanical Keyboard and Gaming Mouse Combo or the GKC1001 for short. With a solid rating on Amazon, current price of $40 and red mechanical switches, it kind of sounded like a great deal and after using it for a week, I've walked away impressed. Let's start off with the main product of this bundle, the mechanical keyboard. When you pick it up, the first thing you notice is the exceptional build quality. Everything is plastic, but it's well put together and there is no rattling at all. The USB cable is also braided and gold plated. The red mechanical switches are from a company called TTC and they're very similar to Cherry MX switches. In fact, when compared to Cherry MX Red switches, I honestly couldn't tell the difference. Here's a quick audio snippet of me typing with this keyboard. They're not a popular brand, so they are a lot cheaper and the savings are passed down to the customer, which I always like to see. It comes well equipped with 21 key rollover, 2 programmable macro keys and up to 6 player profiles. The keys are all separately lit and LEDs are located right above the switch but unfortunately they only light up in red as they aren't RGB but at this price point that was expected. The caps, num and scroll lock keys light up separately depending on if the function is either on or off. The switches are responsive and activate with only half key press, it's actually very similar to the Corsair Scrape that I'm using currently. The Rebos, which is the mouse included is simple, I mean nothing too crazy in terms of features or design. It goes from 800 to 3500 DPI so there's plenty of room for customization. There's also a DPI change button that cycles through different user program levels and something like this is great for games like Overwatch since you can swap between characters during the same match that require different levels of sensitivity. All the buttons found on the mouse excluding the left click can be user mapped to different functions through the software. And here's also where users can set custom profiles and these profiles include different cursors, scroll and double click speeds, varying pole rates and of course the LED control. The LEDs on this, unlike the keyboard, are RGB but I found the color to be poorly produced. This is true only when trying to change certain colors and as you can see the mouse doesn't produce them correctly. The cable is braided and overall the mouse feels solid in the hand. I would say however it's on the smaller side so if you have bigger hands like me then this could be annoying. As a bundle you're getting a good deal here for about 40 bucks. Now if you're in the market for a keyboard and mouse and are into red switches and don't mind the smaller mouse size then I would definitely pick this up. You won't be able to find a better priced combo anywhere especially for mechanical keyboards. The second item of the show is the Nubwo S2 Bluetooth headphones. Starting with the build quality they do feel solid and the stainless steel headband gives a good amount of flex. The construction is most Mostly plastic but there is some aluminum used as well. I also think they look stylish with its color combination of orange, black and different shades of silver. The indication LED is also nicely placed in the center of the right ear cup which is a nice touch. The white model looks just as cool. So in the box you get a micro USB cable as well as a decently sized auxiliary cord. Looking around the device we can see a micro USB port, auxiliary port as well as three multi-function buttons. The volume rockers allow you to change the tracks when held down and the power button also allows for play and pause and also call control. As far as comfort is concerned these aren't going to be the best as they are designed to go on the ear instead of around it. I mean I could personally wear these for 3 hours before they start getting uncomfortable but this will vary on the size of your head and of course how sensitive you are. In terms of audio quality it's not bad, they're obviously not going to be amazing or blow you away as they are budget bluetooth headphones. But if you're into heavy bass then you'll like these, they are very bass heavy. Genres like rap and techno benefit the most from the sound signature. What I've also noticed is that the sound has zero distortion even at high volumes. As is with most bluetooth headphones, plug in the auxiliary cord and the audio does improve a bit with a tighter bass response. The noise isolation is also pretty good considering it's an on-ear design. At about 70% volume any outside noise is inaudible or completely muted but they do also leak quite a bit of sound. So if you're the type of person that blasts your music all the time and don't want people hearing what you're listening to you might want to look elsewhere. Here's a quick audio sample from when the headphones are both on and off. The S2s provide 14 hours of usage and 500 hours of standby time and at its current price of $37 you can't go wrong 
especially for a gift. Our third item is again a mouse, but this one's a bit different. The Lenovo Yoga Mouse is the perfect solution for mobile media and professional setups, and here's why. It offers a bunch of features in an incredibly slim body. So it works with Bluetooth, and if your device isn't Bluetooth ready, you do get a dongle that will pair your device automatically with the Yoga Mouse. What's unique about this mouse is that it flips into two different modes, mouse and multimedia. When it's in mouse mode, it's easy to use and surprisingly ergonomic. We get a touch sensitive scroll wheel that works really well with a max DPI of 1600. Flipping it back to the flat side is when the media controls light up and give us a command over videos, volume, and even presentations. Now, although the presentation mode is pretty useful in classroom presentations, or even meetings, I personally don't use that. I do however take it with me wherever I travel and I always keep it in mouse mode. You guys can actually find this for around $30 on Amazon. Next we're going to switch things up and talk about organization. Now if you guys watch the channel at all, you will know that organization and cable management is a big part of who I am and I'm always on the hunt for inexpensive yet effective ways to improve your cable management. And that's where these cable clips come in. It's a simple solution to one of my most annoying pet peeves, which are cables, especially when I'm traveling. I don't like leaving behind anything that might come in handy when I'm away from home for an extended period of time. I usually carry a few things in my tech bags, from several smartphones, a tablet, laptop, earphones, headphones, etc. So with these new clips, I can actually organize all my cables into a much smaller space, as well as ensure they won't get damaged or tangled. The best part is that they're extremely cheap, at about $5, and they make great gifts for clean freaks like me in your family. And finally, the last item on the list is the Gooseneck Device Holder. Now most of you guys are probably wondering, what the hell is this doing on the list? But trust me guys, this thing is actually pretty cool. So the stand is very easy to hook up to your table, just basically twist the bottom to loosen or tighten it, and it does support uh, tables with a max thickness of 3 inches. The clamp at the top is spring loaded, so it will adjust to fit your phone or tablet, going from 4 inches to about 11 inches. Once the tablet or smartphone is hooked up to the arm, it's very secure and doesn't wobble one bit. The head does rotate a full 360 and the material used for the arm allows for setup in any position. I've used it in my kitchen, on my desk, even while in bed to watch a movie, and I've gotta say, it's worth getting. It's currently going for only $21 on Amazon and I might pick up a few just to have around in the house. So that is it for my cool tech for this month. As always, if you guys enjoyed these videos, be sure to leave a like to show your support. And once again, you can find all the products linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.